As we saw in the previous video, a brief explanation of our problem statement and an introduction related to energy crisis. In this video, we will get to know and understand the topic in a much detailed and structured way, which we have done by the Catavo analysis process and redefining the problem statement. Before starting the video, it is important for us to give you the description about the content of this video. The video contents What is energy crisis? What are the causes of energy crisis? Various effects of the global energy crisis? Case study of India? China energy crisis? Effects of crisis in Western countries? Catavo analysis of the problem statement? Understanding some of the stakeholders? and redefining the problem statement. So now let's discuss about energy crisis. Energy crisis represents the huge demand for fuel which is increasing day by day. But the sources of energy are limited. It occurs within the environment in the original and natural form and take years to form. Also the stock limitation is more. For this reason we all are facing a crisis a crisis or a fear of having no fuel to produce electricity and use our favorite gadgets. People need to know that the Mother Earth is abundant with natural resources that develop on this planet using its surrounding environment. Thus, the natural resources are mostly derived from the environment which needs a lot of time to form on its own. Undisturbed by humanity, while a few of them are used for our survival like water, air, the rest of them like coal, gas, oil is used for satisfying our daily needs. Now the point is how many energy resources do we have and how much fuel do these resources store for us. In a nutshell, energy can be of two kinds according to the sources. They are non-renewable energy or conventional energy, renewable energy or non-conventional energy. What are the causes of energy crisis? It would be easy to point the finger at one practice or industry and lay the blame for the entire energy crisis at their door, but that would be a very naive and unrealistic interpretation of the cause of energy crisis. So here are some of the causes of energy crisis. Overpopulation Another cause of the crisis has been a steady increase in the world's population and its demand for fuel and products. We very much understand that more the population, more the demand and more the consumption of electricity. Second, Overconsumption of electricity The energy crisis is a result of many different strain on our natural resources. Not just one, there is a strain on fossil fuels such as oil, gas and coal due to overconsumption. Fourth, poor infrastructure. Aging infrastructure of power generating equipment is yet another reason for energy shortage. Most of the energy producing firms keep on using outdated equipment that restricts the production of energy. It is the responsibility of utilities to keep on upgrading the infrastructure and set a high standard of performance. Fifth, the low popularity of renewable energy. Renewable energy still remains unused in most part of the countries. Most of the energy comes from non-renewable energy like coal and petroleum. It therefore remains the top choice to produce energy. Unless we give renewable energy a serious thought, the problem of energy crisis cannot be solved. Renewable energy sources can reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and also helps to re reduce greenhouse gas emission. Sixth, delay in commissioning of new power plants. In a few countries, there is a significant delay in the commissioning of new power plants that can fill the gap between the demand and supply of energy. The result is that old plants come under huge stress to meet the de daily demand for power. When power supply doesn't match demand, it results in load shelling and breakdown. Wastage of energy. In most part of the world, people do not realize the importance of conserving energy. It is only limited to books, the internet, newspaper, ads and seminars. Unless we give it a serious thought, things are not going to change anytime sooner. Simple things like switching off fans and light when not in use, using maximum daylight, walking instead of driving for short distances, 
using cfl instead of traditional bulbs proper insulation of leakage of energy can go a long way in saving energy third poor distribution system seventh major accidents and natural calamities major accidents like pipeline burst and natural calamities like the eruption of volcanoes floods earthquake can also cause interruptions to energy supplies the huge gap between supply and demand for energy can raise the price of essential items which can then give rise to inflation eighth war and attacks war between countries can also hamper the supply of energy especially when if it happens in middle east countries like saudi arabia iraq iran kuwait uae or qatar that's what happened during the 1990 gulf war when the price of oil reached its peak causing global shortages and created major problems for energy consumers ninth and the last one miscellaneous factors tax hikes strikes military coup political events severe hot summers or cold winters can cause a sudden increase in demand for energy and can choke supply now let's see various effect of the global energy crisis the growth of human civilization has led to an increase in consumption of traditional sources of energy the very basic source of energy is precious fossil fuel the usage of all these sources is bound to produce a certain effect some important effects of global energy crisis are as follows environmental effect increasing prices of fuel resources political disturbances the effect on tourism industry when the global economy is all set to take off the world is experiencing an energy crisis gas stations are running dry in britain power cost surging in the europe union ahead of winter coal shortage in india forced restrictions on use in china and escalating prices for oil natural gas and coal all due to new energy crisis the subsequent event might make you believe that world has suddenly been struck by universal power crisis or energy crunch but the assumptions would probably be mostly incorrect let's look into the depth of present global energy crisis and understand what is disordering the energy markets in europe india britain china etc case study of india in october 2021 a sudden major energy crisis shocked india coal producers distribution companies state governments as well as the union coal and power ministry and the prime minister's office were consumed by crisis alike india's electricity demand has been on a surge due to economic growth peak demand during september and october 2021 was about 175 gigawatt down from 200 gigawatt in july the peak demand was met in july with enough coal powered production along with generation of wind and hydropower prior to the current crisis there was a surge in demand from late june to mid july and august the crisis was not as much about a hike in demand as it is about the lack of preparation of supply side coal stocks reached a record of high 132 million tons at the end of financial year 2020 to 2021 coal india limited and singarni collieries company limited sccl had the highest stockpiles at pitheads the consumption increased by 21% in 2021 compared to 2020 7% over 2019 and 11% over 2018 based on the coal stock positions from January July over the last 4 years CIL had a much larger stockpiles of coal than usual over 40 mt even at the end of September how did the situation become so unstable monsoon affects the CIL production every year but this year was different The prolonged monsoon compounded coal shortage. Logistical problems led to lower coal demand during the period. CIL still had enough coal supplies despite these issues. On October 9, the total coal dispatched, such as coal produced by CIL and SCCL, coal from captive mines and imported coal, 
amounted to 1.92 mt against 1.87 mt of coal consumption. On 12th October, the coal dispatch increased to 2 mt. Despite enough coal at CIS end dispatch to coal-fired power plants became an issue. What made the situation worse were restricted supplies from CIS because of delayed payments in state, where coal power producers owed large amounts to discounts. Power producers tried to play it safe, drilling another another wave of the novel coronavirus disease pandemic during the festive season by not maintaining the required coal stock supplies at their end. This is the main reason for coal supply crisis. Additionally, with the increase in import cost of Indonesian coal from dollar sixty per ton in March 2021. To dollar 200 per ton in September, October for 5,000 kilocalories per kg. Therefore, the shortfall could not be met with the coal imports. So these are the causes we discussed above that are responsible for energy crisis in India. Heavy rain in coal mine areas in September adversely affected coal production as well as the transport of coal from mines. Steep rise in the price of imported coal lead to sharply reduced power generation from imported coal based power plants and more dependence on domestic coal. Adequate coal stocks were not built before the onset of monsoon. There were legacy issues of heavy dues of coal companies from certain states Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. A surge in the economy after the second wave of COVID led to a big increase in demand and consumption of electricity. So now, let's have a look at the situation of the world, the energy crisis in China. China's government has started rationing power to their energy-hungry industries because of a crisis in the coal supply. Coal plants are shutting down permanently because they are unable to operate economically. As Beijing sets power prices, the plants with higher coal production costs have no way left other than drawing their shutter down. China faces mounting demand to ramp up coal imports and ensure supplies to keep the lights on, factories open, water flowing as a severe power crisis disturbs the northeastern industrial heartland. With electricity deficits enhanced by coal shortages disabling large industrial segments, the governor of Jilin province, one of the most brutal hits in the world's second largest economy, called for a surge in the coal imports. At the same time, a power company organization informed supply was being expanded at any cost. Several news organizations and social media displayed reports and posts saying the lack of power in the northeast had shut down traffic lights, residential elevators, and 3G mobile phone coverage and triggered factory shutdowns. But coal traders have said finding new important resources may be easier said than done, with Russia concentrating on serving Europe's power needs, rain suspending output from Indonesia, and trucking constraints blocking imports from Mongolia. Not to forget the trade war with Australia, the world's second largest exporter of coal. The second situation is about the Europe's skyrocketing power bills. The price of keeping lights on in Spain has almost tripled, indicating a broader hike in the power bills across the European Union in recent weeks. Electricity bills have more than doubled in Spain. This rise in electricity costs has raised fears of a brutal winter ahead as households demand heat and push consumption to a seasonal peak. Mounting natural gas prices across Europe could delay the economic recovery in Spain, where small businesses essential to local employment are more vulnerable than elsewhere on the continent to abrupt rises in power bills. The result from record high gas prices has hit even the food manufacturer as the suppliers of carbon dioxide used in the vacuum packaging of food products to increase their shelf life and to put that fizz into your beer and soft drinks faces turmoil. Analysts say that Spain is significantly exposed to the surge in households' fuel bills due to a high percentage of consumers with flexible rates which are susceptible to price changes. The third situation is about the petrol stations in the UK which run dry. Panic buying by vehicle owners and drivers has left fuel pumps empty across principal cities in Britain, causing one of the country's worst energy disruption in decades. 
Fights have torn out at gas stations as the government requested to calm down. But the problem racking Britain is not a lack of gasoline. It is a lack of truckers to distribute the fuel from refineries to retailers. One of the odd side effects of British exit from the European Union and a hangover from the postponed trucker certification and training during the pandemic. These are some of the problems we have seen in the last quarter of 2021 which led to a severe surge to giant global economics. So with this we want to end today's topic of discussion about the problems faced. After understanding the problem of energy crisis by catwo approach we must now see who are the main affected stakeholders stakeholder 1 normal consumer of electricity problems faced by them are as follows incompletion of various tasks inefficient learning social and psychological problems hindrance in day to day work stakeholder 2 industrialists and businessmen problem faced by them are as follows huge loss of economic and potential assets obstacle in normal growth and development less productivity discontinuity in working process stakeholder 3 government problem faced by them huge stress of power generation hindrance in growth and development lack of resources and technology now we should redefine our problem statement the actual cause of the problem most energy crises have been caused by localized shortages wars and market manipulation some have argued that government's actions like tax hikes nationalization of energy companies and regulation of energy sector shift supply and demand of energy away from its economic equilibrium This was the end of the video. Now we hope that you have a very clear picture of the problem statement, who are the most affected by it, and the importance of the need of an immediate solution. So in the next video, you will get to know the solutions of energy crisis, which will be done by a brainstorming session between the group members. The implementations of the solution, that is, prototyping and implementation. the storytelling of the creation of this entire series which includes the introduction the problem and the solution hope you enjoyed watching please like and share and yes don't forget to give your valuable feedback in the google form attached in the description thank you